I still remember the time you threw a tantrum in the IHOP and fucking smashed all the creamers and then mom made you sit in the car. I was glad, dude, because I fucking hate that goddamn place. Oh, dude, what about the time? What about the time we were in IHOP and you wanted the steak and eggs and dad's like, you're not allowed to get it. It's too expensive. No, that was Denny's. It was Denny's. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we're we're, because me and used to go to Denny's all the time. We just love going there late at night. We took dad that one time. It's like steak and eggs. You're not going to eat it. I'm like, I always eat it. And you're like, well, he actually, Scotty pretty much gets that every time, even we go by ourselves and he eats it. And our dad was like, no. And you're like, going to fucking eat it. And then you're just like, well, I'll just pay for my own then. And he's like, no. It's like, what? (laughs) (laughs) I know. And then he made you go outside too. Like, you're going outside. Go outside. You're not allowed to sit here. There was a lot of meals where Scotty (laughs) midway, like through the, the service was just forced to leave and go sit outside. Never by the establishment, might I add. Yeah, always by our parents. One parent or another. Shocking. Yeah, Damn, I didn't know that was a an option. Next time, next time we eat with Scotty, let's fucking send him outside <laughs> if he gets crazy. All right, Scotty, you're going outside. All right, Talk time to, to go. You've been yeah, bad. You've been go. naughty. Go sit in the car. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. You're out, you're out of here, you son of a bitch. So Scotty, today's episode, to. today's episode is about uh, coronavirus scams. Versus idiots, the general public of America and the world. You know, why not, dude? Why not, DJ? I think we should preface this episode with saying a few things about this. As with any major event of historical significance or importance, there's going to be rampant misinformation and speculation. This may be a surprise to some of you, but currently we're in the midst of a massive global pandemic. I know, according to the liberal media. Well, yeah, the conservative media, we're doing just fine. The economy is coming back any minute now. It's back. There's no one source of information that everyone completely trusts. Reading about COVID-19 is, uh, is basically just daunting. We're overloaded with information, and it's pretty fucking stressful, to say the least. But a path to truth, or the best possible understanding of our reality and what's going on, requires us to go where the evidence leads us. Simply put, we don't have all the answers, and we probably never will. Tonight's topic is about the idiots of the world, the ones that think a little sunshine, and poof, the virus will be a distant memory. Ah. Uh. The, the cleansing, healing power of the sun. The ones buying snake oil are spreading nonsense on social media. We make no claims of absolute knowledge or understanding of what's going on. But you will see tonight, we can safely say, is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, well, we know bullshit when we see it. Yeah, I mean, you can say I mean, what you want about our status as experts, but we're we're pretty well versed in bullshit. Dude, I was raised by one of the greatest scammers in American history. So I know a fucking heard scam. Heard I know a scam when I see one, man. I know a lot of people are scared and they would need hope. But there's a guy, a small time actor, has it, uh, as it is, that has found a cure. Wow. That's him right there in the middle. This is Keith Middlebrook, small time actor. It's crazy because he's in the middle of the fucking picture and he's Keith Middlebrook. Small time actor and full time con artist. Also, this guy is it's kind of interesting because he's also going to make you rich. He has a cure for the coronavirus, but before that, TJ, this guy is actually your ticket <laughs> to wealth and fame and whatever you want. I love the fucking nothing to see here in the fucking <laughs> background, dude. This guy, have you ever seen a less trustworthy looking dude in all your <laughs> no. fucking life? Oh, I got a cure for the coronavirus virus to sell you. Oh, come on over to the back of my panel truck. Oh, big I, time. I picture too, it's like a more of a candid shot. So his videos, he doesn't film himself from this angle. So you can't see the double chin. And the fucking really bad, like, oh, uh, God. Oh, yeah, he doesn't look he doesn't look any better here. If anything, he looks no, like he looks like like someone fucking turned the rock biter from fucking <laughs> never ending story into a human being. This doesn't even <laughs> or something approximating a human being. I don't know. Today is March 9th, 2020. I'm in a beautiful Maybach. This is a $600,000 car, and I encourage you to set your goals because you can achieve anything you want. Don't listen to the negative news and the negative media, uh, the coronavirus. There is, last year alone, 61,000 deaths of the flu. The previous year, there were 80,000 deaths of the flu. I think the coronavirus is at 16. Trump's already got nipped in the bud. There's already an antidote. People are getting up out of the hospital and walking away. Let's stay focused on your goals because I'm... I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I forget. I didn't see that. Handle. I didn't see that anywhere. I didn't even see the conservative media or anybody covering that coronavirus antidote found. I mean, breaking news, everybody. Yeah, he's got a handled. Trump handled it, dude. Oh, it's solved. 
I hope at the end of this video, he starts flapping his ears and flies through the sunroof of this Maybach. Yeah, um, there's actually been 73,000 deaths from the coronavirus, by the way. There's uh, like 10, dude. If Come you're on. talking about just the U.S., there have been 10,524. Uh, TJ, they got this nipped in the bud. They nipped it. Oh, the cures. We got the cure. We got the antidote. TJ, why are, why, why are you Why you stressing, TJ? Go, let, go lay back. Get some sun. You're fine. I'm here to train and teach you how to achieve any, everything you want. And you'll never have to, you'll never want to participate in a recession or a down market because it doesn't yeah. affect you. When you put your goals in writing and you get a clear vision and you focus on that every morning and every night, that's exactly what's going to happen. That's what wow. you're going to draw into your life. So don't listen to CNN, CSN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, the mainstream media. They will talk you into failure. That's what they want. Wow. That's what they want. Don't buy into them. Okay? Stay focused and think like a millionaire. Think like a billionaire. And I'm giving you the yeah. powerful secrets right now how to do that. All right. Achieve and get anything you want. All right. What's right the secrets? Now. Okay. Not next year, not 10 years from now. Yeah. Right, right I'm sold. This minute now. Okay, good. The first step, Tell me. Take out a sheet of paper and write down everything that you want. I'm going to need more than one sheet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so write down everything. Step one, write down everything you want. And put a timeline on it. Three months, six months, nine months. Put a timeline. Five on minutes. Within six months. Okay. Okay, Stay six focused. months. On your goals, be your best, hit your workouts, eat your lean proteins, eat your good carbs. So, okay, um, eat my lean <laughs> proteins and good carbs. So write, write out, it down. so write out everything I want to do. Write out everything I want for myself, rather, on a sheet of paper. S- set a timeline for six months and then eat right and work yes. out. Okay, that's the so far so good. Drink alkaline water. If you don't have any alkaline water, take your your, your water. Okay, alkaline water. Yeah, alkaline Squeeze water, of course. Lemon into it. It's going to make it lemon alkaline. into the alkaline. Seventy percent water. Gotcha. Okay, so anyway, everyone, stay focused on your goals. Get your workouts. Get pumped up. Get ready because we're going to win. Everyone on my team is a winner. That's gotcha. what we do. Winning That's team. That's what I train people to do. Gotcha. That's what I am. I okay. live it. I breathe it. I sleep it. I am it. Okay. I'm here to make you successful. Okay. Everybody, follow. Instagram at Keith Middlebrook. Follow YouTube at Keith Middlebrook. KeithMiddlebrook.com and KeithMiddlebrookProsports.com. Wow. Holy shit. Damn. So this wait a minute. He's going to make me a winner, dude. He's going to make me a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, zillionaire, whatever I want within six months. So all I have to do is write down every goal for everything I want in my entire life, set a time limit on it, and then eat right and drink some fucking alkaline water with lemon in it, and bam! Everything on that list is going to come to fruition. Well, and don't listen to the mainstream media. media. Don't listen to no CNN or fucking MSNBC or any of that bullshit. Just listen to fucking whatever the fuck. <laughs> just listen to fucking Mongo here or whatever the fuck his goddamn name is. You know, he, he, he did come around on the coronavirus, TJ, but it, it's good news. He has the cure. Oh, uh, okay. Well, he said the, he already said in this video that, that he already found the cure. This is March 13th. Well, I mean, I guess that cure maybe fell through or something. Right. Maybe maybe Trump's cure wasn't as good as they oh, thought. Okay, you so know, mistakes happen. It wasn't okay. Keith Middlebrook. So then he came up with his own. He came up with his own cure later oh, yeah. on. He's like, all right, so that initial antidote I referenced on March 13th that didn't work out. So here it is, March 26th, and I've come up with a new cure. Is it going to be? Oh, so these are this happened. The timeline's a little wonky with that, but yeah. Oh, maybe, okay. Maybe around there. So these are not his or- original. Videos, yeah, this I guess. This is, a repeat. This, this is from his Instagram. But Instagram removed uh, all his posts and so he was banned from Instagram. So oh, we'll good. <laughs> good. Hi, everybody. I'm Keith Middlebrook. And after studying cell tissue and chemical biology for many years. Just <laughs> wait, <laughs> 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 just wait. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he's fucking. Oh, he's studying. You just see him. You just see him hunched over the fucking beaker tube. You know, fucking blue chemical. Oh, 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 looking in the fucking microscope. Oh, yeah, this is reactive to the tissue. All right, sure, sure, sure. I've created the cure for COV nineteen. COV nineteen. COV. Okay. He, okay, 
he created it. He created yeah. it in his fucking. Le- What's this guy's name again? Keith Lawrence. Keith Middlebrook. I just say Lawrence. Oh, Keith Lawrence, Lawrence. Middlebrook. <laughs> in Keith Middlebrook's laboratory. COVID nineteen, the coronavirus. This is it right here. Just say COVID, bitch. Injection. Now let me explain what this does here. <laughs> okay, let me help. Let me help you. I'll, I'll <laughs> let me preempt you. Let me explain what this does. Mm. Uh, this 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 cure departs you of your hard earned money for nothing. So that Keith Middlebrook can buy another one of those Rolexes he's wearing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what this no. cure does is it enables oh, me. Dare to... you guys say this about Keith Middlebrook? He wants nothing but your success. That's why the mainstream media and the pharmaceutical industry have silenced him. Okay, hey, look, he's going to tell you how it happens, how it works. Come on. Release, and then they starve, and then they die within 48 hours. Wow. A patient in a LA wow. hospital whom I injected this with that was tested positive for the coronavirus 48 hours and three hours later, meaning 51 hours total, the person got up and walked out of the hospital. Now, and what that person's name is, um, is what now? (laughs) I'm also sure that had nothing else to do with the treatments that he received during those 51 hours at the hospital either. (laughs) It was pure speculation. It was the, it was the miracle cure guys. Come on. I injected him with this untested substance. I just skipped right to human trials on this one, guys. Uh, and, uh, you know, I injected him and, you know, but a scant 48 hours later, he was fine. Walked right out of the hospital. Actually, he was healthier than he was when he fucking uh, before he was got sick. When he first was cured of coronavirus, a three degree temperature, body aches and pains, coughing, sweating profusely. 51 hours later, blood pressure, normal body temperature, normal sugar levels, normal heart rate, normal enzyme levels, normal. If this was actually true, <laughs> this would be like one of the greatest uh, fucking stories of all time. You know, like the entire medical establishments trying to fucking cure this coronavirus, but it ends up being some fucking out of work fucking actor turned scammer. Who just, you know, fiddled around in his fucking garage laboratory and just happened upon the fucking cure to coronavirus. Yeah, the formula that cures coronavirus totally destroys it. You two days, you get injected, you're fucking on death's door. Get Keith Middlebrook in here immediately. Please, Keith. He's a family man. He's got six children. Oh, please. But why would you need why would you need this guy's ridiculous cure when you can just drink some miracle fucking mineral solution and cure it just as easily? Even better. This is even this is even a better cure. Come on, you know, this gets injected into you right. in two days. I mean, that is an, I mean, an injectable does seem more like a cure than a fucking you know just some some shit you drink. You know, especially when you've got all of your uh, drugs laid out in a fishing tackle box. Yeah, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he wants to keep it organized. This is a you know this is more of a running gun operation. Everything uh, completely back to normal. Coronavirus negative. Because this is not, believe it or not, this is not the only claim this the in this video. Right here going into mass production, and this is going to save and change the world. Okay, so yes, I have a meeting set up with President Donald Trump. This is going into live play. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, yeah. I wish I could. I wish I could just outright dismiss that as a possibility, but I guess I fucking can't. No, this guy can't. looks like a dude that Trump would take a meeting uh, with. Wasting time listening to an act like wasting time that he could spend listening to an actual expert. <laughs> listening to this guy, Trump, I cooked up the cure in my fucking garage, homie. Uh, Why does he have all the labels for his bottles and boxes turned around so you can't see what the what what they are? Well, he doesn't want, seem he doesn't want you to know his uh, his secret, you know. Well, it seems to me that you know, in order for this kit to be useful, you'd want to be able to easily see. What's in it? No, no, no. Well, patent pending, Paul. <laughs> you know. Right now to save the world. Stay tuned, everybody. I'm Keith Middlebrook. Hey, everybody. Today is March 21st, 2020. My name is Keith Middlebrook. I've been studying cell tissue and chemical biology for <laughs> well over two decades. Is this just, <laughs> did they just repeat the same video again? No, it's not. I know. Okay. Unbelievably, it's not the same video. I think omnipotent. 
Anyway, follow me here. Go Wait, back. did he say omnimiscient? Go back. I want he, you to hear that. Let's everyone just be quiet. Let's hear what he has to say for just one second. Anyway, follow me here because the great just got even better. Decades. I'm beyond qualified. I think omnimiscient. Anyway, omnimiscient, dude. <laughs> he's he's omnimiscient. He's beyond qualified. He's omnimiscient. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, <laughs> not omniscient. Omni. Omnimiscient. Omnimiscient. Wait, follow me here, because the great just got even better. Not only did I create the cure, but this pill right here is the prevention. Meaning, if I walk into the Staples Center and everyone's testing coronavirus positive, Okay, I can't contract it. It's impossible. I take this once in the morning, every morning, and it's time release for 24 hours. I create. See, this is this is a smarter scam because the cure. I mean, you can only sell that to people who actually have it. But if you got some kind of preventative fucking pill, he's you, got both. You can sell that to yeah. everybody. He's a one stop shop, dude. Now you got you both bases covered. You know. It. I have. What makes you immune to the coronavirus? It's already done. I've already got it. This took seven weeks. The cure took six. This took seven. I take one of these every morning and I go unscathed. I'm not afraid to go to a grocery store or a gym or anywhere in public because as long as I take this once in the morning, I'm good. So do you notice? Do you notice he's holding production? that pill strangely too? It's fact. It's already- yeah, it's yeah. almost like he's trying to prevent us what? from seeing some kind of uh, label or mark on the fucking side. Yeah, he's, he. It's almost as if he's trying to obscure somebody like a pharmacist who would know from the shape and color and and markings on the pill what it actually is from from seeing it. Uh, I mean, I, you know, that's one way to look at it. I mean, probably just how like, he held it. You know, it's probably comfortable to hold it like that. He manufactured this pill himself, Paul. This is not something that he didn't just fucking grab like a codeine tablet or something and fucking show it off as some kind of Corona cure. Or this prevention. Is in his factory, Paul, his basement factory. Come yeah, on. This is going into mass production soon. He's got meetings with Trump, you know, tested, yeah, I mean, true and tried. Pro- corona- if someone has coronavirus positive, I'll give them a hug, sit down, have a conversation with them, and take them to dinner. That's right. I have no fear because I'm immune. My cell membrane walls cannot be can, cannot contract the coronavirus. <laughs> and it's already here. I've created it. I have invented it. Now, I just got off the phone with Robert Goldman, who's the physician of sports and health medicine for Donald Trump. I'm going to Mar-a-Lago. Okay, I'm looking to... Get the executive emergency order to override the FDA for this emergency. So the market of the cure is great, but the prevention is even greater. Because you take this pill once a day, you cannot contract the virus. Yeah. Everyone else around you can, but you can't. My name is wow. Keith Middlebrook. So now listen, all the idiot fake avatar people online don't respond. You're a coward. You're worthless, you're a parasite, and you're pathetic. You're afraid to attach your face and your identity with your words. <laughs> you should have been afraid to do that because... Yeah, just like you're afraid to show anybody what's in that tackle box and what that pill really is. <laughs> yeah, why don't, you, why, don't you, uh, why don't you show us the process whereby you made these pills? Why don't you share with us the scientific research? He mixed them that- up right there in his fucking fishing tackle box yeah why don't you show us the process by which you made these pills why don't you so show, show us the the uh, scientific research that led to their creation you know so yeah i think we've heard enough of his nonsense why don't you go to the next image let's let's, let's no, i want to hear how he wraps this up i want to hear okay. i want to fucking well, hear the, the last few seconds of this that's why you're a fake loser right don't contact me i don't want your comments okay this i've created the prevention that makes you immune to the coronavirus. This is called QP20. The cure is QC20. These are both. Yeah, that's a, it's really interesting. I I love the fucking, I love the the way he's holding this pill in his hand. It's just so natural, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like he literally has not moved from this position the entire time he's been talking. Like he's held his hand, he's held this pill in his hands in this unnatural, weird pose this entire time. Never fucking changing once. 
So everybody stay tuned with me. I've got it. I'm ahead on this. Thank you. I was going to say, wasn't there a part where he held it up for a second, like a little differently? No. Nope. He made sure he had it palmed in just such a way that no, no actual expert could look at the pill. This pill right here is. Yep. You're right. He even starts off holding it on its fucking side. So you can't see it. That's exactly the point. Yeah. That's why he's got the labels on all his boxes and all his little medicinal vials and his fishing tackle box turned around as well. <laughs> Man, he just, he just has a bunch of empty drugs that are totally unrelated. He bought some fucking uh, uh, injection things from a fucking diabetes website, probably. And uh, put them in a fishing tackle box, put on his Rolex, stood a pill on end in his hand. See, it's dudes like this that make my authoritarian streak kick in because I I really don't think like I think this dude should be arrested under the current law and prosecuted and thrown in jail for the rest of his fucking life. But I really think there needs to be a facility that deals with it quicker than that because it, it's a huge waste of public funds to even bother with a person like this. I think there should be a department where just some big meathead is dispatched to this dude's house with a tire iron and just <laughs> beats him to fucking death. Lay him face down in his fucking tackle box. Take a picture of it and post it on all his social media so all his followers can see what happens. <laughs> uh, image, please. Here he is. Let's talk about Keith's fate. Oh, his fate. Uh, so, the law is coming down hard on coronavirus scams, as evidenced by the arrest of a man who the Justice Department, uh, Justice department alleges had offered a cure for COVID-19 that supposedly had the support of basketball legend Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. Keith Lawrence Middlebrook, 53, was arrested late Wednesday afternoon after he claimed to have pills for preventing the coronavirus and a patent pending injectable cure for those infected with the virus. Of course, there's no known cure or vaccine for COVID-19. And law enforcement bodies across the world have been warning about scamsters claiming to have such treatments. People listen to Middlebrook, too. According to the Justice uh, DOJ, the Department of Justice, which said his Instagram and YouTube videos talking up his, quote, sure, have chalked up two million views. <laughs> Forbes reviewed the Instagram page cited by the Justice Department, which has 2.4 million followers in which Middlebrook claimed not only to be the creator of the, <laughs> oh, my God, the creator of the coronavirus cure, but also the real Iron Man and a genius entrepreneur, as well as the inventor and actor. Um. But he was busted when he met someone who he thought was an investor, but was in fact an FBI agent, according to the government's account. Middlebrook had built a fraudulent business, Quantum Prevention CV Inc., or QP20, that claimed for a $1 million investment, a shareholder could get as much as $100 million in return, according to the criminal, uh, criminal complaint. Yeah. And though he claimed Magic Johnson was an investor, the former Lakers players confirmed to the authorities he had no such investment. Of course not. Uh... While this may be the first federal criminal case in the nation stemming from the pandemic, it will certainly not be the last. I am, again, urging everyone to be extremely wary of very outlandish medical claims and false promises of immense profits, uh, profits said U.S. Attorney Nick Hanna. So it sounds like this guy didn't even go. He didn't even go away for this fake coronavirus cure. He went away for fucking trying to scam investors to f attract them to his company. Yeah. Being like, give me oh, a yeah. million bucks, and I'll give you a hundred million bucks. Magic I mean, that's, Johnson that's did the it. Least, that's the least of his crimes. I know. Trying to trying to scam some rich fuck is the least of his crimes. It's crazy to me to think that there are literally people out there who have a million dollars to invest that are so stupid that they would invest. Like, that just shows, like, any of these people who fucking say that, like, these millionaires and billionaires are fucking there from their own fucking diligence and intelligence and shit. Yeah, Giles, and, this is, know. this guy's a refutation of that bullshit right off the fucking bat. Cause, uh, you know, the fact that anyone could potentially fall for this fucking line of bullshit. I mean, apparently 2 million people, I mean, I guess the, the 2 million people who saw it probably are not all like, yeah, but some of them, you know, are fucking sitting there watching like, Whoa, the cure. Yeah, this guy found the cure, warm. bro. He found yeah, the cure. You have to remember, like, you know, if you're ill-informed, you don't like, you don't really pay much attention to what's going on in the world, which plenty of people are. They're just on Instagram, and some guys like, look, I got the fucking cure it's right here. You might just go, okay, they've cured it. Whatever, it's done. 
Oh yeah. Anybody Solved anybody it. that watches that presentation and think that thinks that this dude is anything more than a huckster deserves to have their <laughs> money flushed down the fucking toilet. Oh, I pretty much agree with you there, but you know, the FBI uh, acted very quickly in this case because, you know, it was just so obvious he was just defrauding people. And of course, ultimately he's gonna probably face, you know, not as much jail time as you would think, but he'll probably get a couple years in federal prison. Deep bad fight. Deep bad fight. Deep bad fight. Deep bad fight.